Food banks really feeling the strain of this pandemic, but that's not stopping them from serving their communities. 41 Actions reporter Dan Cohen takes us to Overland Park for that story. This is what matters. Car trunks open, ready for delivery. It's been good. As New Haven's Seventh Day Adventists in Overland Park and Harvesters unite to distribute food to those in need. Because some of our church members, you know, lost jobs, hours are cut back, um, you know, just, you know, only essential businesses being open. So a lot of people are missing paychecks. Cars started lining up before the sunrise and food distribution has been pretty steady all morning. But in order to sustain this level of success moving forward and not feel the strain, they need more supplies other than food. Always looking for those resources. We need more bags, we need more gloves, we need more box trucks. We need to keep all this food delivery occurring. <laughs> Jewish Family Services is also facing new challenges during the pandemic, even as they continue serving their clients. Do we have a consistent source of food? Harvesters has done a great job of um, trying to get food into the Kansas City area, but there um, may not be as much variety as we would traditionally offer. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone is thinking about future needs, too. Our strain is we're always looking at what are we going to do next week, two months from now? How are we going to keep doing it? What can we do to do more? Because there's so much more need. But their work continues, offering a helping hand. It's really meaningful for us to still be out here on the front line serving our guests. Our goal really is to share food and love. We want people to drive out of here with hope in their hearts. Nourishing the bodies and souls of their neighbors. In Overland Park, Dan Cohen, 41 Action News.